The version 1.2 update introduces customizable room features that provide a wider variety of virtual environments, as well as the ability to utilize custom logos and posters. There's also an added lectern for the presenter layout, giving you full access to your desk menu while engaging the entire room. So if you're a teacher, this is amazing. Okie dokie, let's see if we can figure out how to customize this place. Room, let's see, customize room. Presentation mode, not bad. Ooh, we got four options. So we're at Lake's Cabin versus Lake's Vibrant. Oh, okay. Okay, yep. Got the nice feminine touch. What does that say? Hi, live. I think, oh, anyway. <laughs> Let's check out the city. Yes, I want to go to the city. And, whoa. Okay, okay. This isn't bad. This is a cool, I like this. Actually, I like this a lot. I feel like I'd be very productive in this space. I love the like plantery there. This feels very future, modern, very nice. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, okay. Now let's try City Sleek. Okay, one more time. Ooh, same space, same view, just a little bit more sleek. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna stick with, uh, I think City Bright. Customize posters and logo. Upload images to show on the walls of the room. So I think that's the one that's already, oh, there's like a few of them. So you can like choose between some defaults. That's cool. Purple bubbles, let's see. It looks like we can just click on any of the posters that we wanna update and then it like sends a little ping so you see where you're updating. And so we could come in here and grab another little like purple sign, love that. There's some really cool art in here. Seems like we can upload more images to like have our own custom ones. So click on this one. Select the failed to render poster. Nice. Oh, nice. And we'll go to the portrait poster. Oh, it's not there. Oh, I hit, forgot to hit the button. I forgot to hit the button. My bad. Hey, and now we got a little pop pop poster hanging out over there. That is so fun. I love this customization. This is fabulous. Highly recommend you guys check this out. I really want to get to that seat. So I guess maybe when you go to the whiteboard, you actually need to be... Okay, I figured it out. Let's see, how do I get out of the whiteboard? <laughs> what did she do? <laughs> okay, KO is the teacher today. Lakes isn't in charge. Okay, party teach. So here we are. And you know what? That poster looks pretty good. This is just an image made basically in Horizon. And then we uh, slapped on the logo in Photoshop. Not bad, not bad. Look at Merck's face. That's funny. And then look at this logo. That's looking really sharp. Man, that's nice. I don't really like the drop shadow. I'd love to have like an option to turn drop shadow off. Like what if I did a you know a black logo rather than a white logo? Then um, I wouldn't be such a huge fan of that shadow. But this is nice being able to be at a desk and like actually being able to present from here. So I am 100% down with this new update. Recommend you guys check it out. If you're having trouble with workrooms, for me today to get logged in, I had to delete my cookies. Every workrooms cookie I had, I deleted, and that helped me get in. So best of luck, we all struggle, uh, and hopefully they keep making this better. Seriously though, we should be able to walk from workroom to workroom without like a big deal. Like here we're in the video workroom, Flutter just came from the HCTV workroom. Last week I was in a uh, special other workroom. We should be able to like interchange through these just like we can with Horizon Worlds. I don't know why it's so difficult, Shouldn't be. Really shouldn't. Bye. Oh, it doesn't like my buys. It still doesn't like bye. <laughs>